took a piss at a rest stop. And there was this, like, board in the rest area that said, like, desert ecology. And it was, like, this piece of paper that was all, like, kind of falling down. And then it was basically, like, people say that the desert is dead. People, people like Connor Oberst say that the desert is dead. Actually, it's full of life. And, and then there's just a bunch of examples of desert wildlife. But yeah, I sent Emily a poster, a picture of this poster at this rest stop. And then she said, where are you? What, what are your impressions? I'm starting to see all this like green shrubbery. You know, the sky is still pretty fucking big, which I love. I think a lot about the Midwest versus the Great Plains. Because like people will be like, oh yeah, Nebraska, like what's it like being from the Midwest? But like, for like big brain academic types, like the Midwest is not refer to Nebraska for the most part. But sometimes when people are like, uh, excuse me, but Nebraska isn't in the, it, it, it's a little didactic and kind of meaningless. But the difference in my mind is the further west you get, there's a more ever present looming stoicism and quietude. People, they just kind of live further apart. Both the like romance and the horror of like the rugged individual it just becomes something that you can feel and that is present where i'm from that type of western energy but here in arizona it just feels like that strange sort of solitary it just kind of is everywhere and to my earlier experience i saw three people walking alone down the side of the road. I don't see that in small towns in Nebraska. I mean, I'm not gonna say I never see it, but I saw three of them. Three lone figures walking down the side of the road in Kingman, Arizona. And yeah, there's just this intense quality to Arizona. You know, there's there's dark, there's dark energies, there's bad vibes with what I'm talking about, but if I'm gonna be, you know, thinking in a way that's like, more geared toward like possibility. There's this energy in Arizona where you feel as though people really do have space to be. And that space is physical, but also the physical space, what it does is it creates like a interior spaciousness that people can also occupy. 